After a near catastrophic Alaska Airlines incident earlier this month, Boeing CEO acknowledges what he says is the seriousness of safety questions facing the company. This as he arrived for Capitol Hill questioning. Glenn Cadusale has the details. Before facing the Senate Commerce Committee at Capitol Hill here in Washington, Chief Executive Dave Calhoun tells reporters Boeing flies safe planes. Calhoun says he is in D.C. in the spirit of transparency to first recognize the seriousness of the issue and to answer all questions because there are a lot of them. The meeting comes as Boeing faced heavy scrutiny following the January 5 emergency landing on a Boeing 737 MAX operated by Alaska Airlines after a panel came off mid-flight. U.S. air safety officials have grounded 171 MAX jets with the same configuration as the Alaska Airlines plane. Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board probe what went wrong on January 5. The Seattle Times published Wednesday a detailed update on the probe. The update was based on a whistleblower who said that the panel that blew off was removed for repair at Boeing's Renton, Washington plant and that it was reinstalled improperly. Moreover, the work on the part, a door plug that is part of the fuselage, was not recorded properly in Boeing's system. According to the Seattle Times report, this means it wasn't fully inspected before the plane was handed over to the customer. Referring questions to the NTSB, Boeing says it is unable to comment on the Seattle Times report. The latest 737 MAX incident was the first major in-flight safety issue on a Boeing plane since two fatal 737 MAX crashes in 2018 and 2019 led to a nearly two-year grounding of the aircraft. Glenn Carusale for Matanang Aguila International. Trusted. Connected. On point. Thank you.